Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See General Hospital Spencer for the fan's new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Many General Hospital viewers have been grieving right along with Trina and the rest of Spencer's family and friends ever since he went over the edge of the boat and into the cold ocean on Wednesday, January 31. And as residents of Port Charles gather today to say goodbye, we won't soon forget how the young Cassidine plummeted into the water trying to save his love from enduring the same jab of poison that Esme injected into him. Things initially took a turn when the authorities in Paris switched the rescue mission into recovery mode and Dante reported that Spencer was presumed to be dead. However, this is the soap and we know that people don't always stay dead so we have a few theories as to what really could have happened to Spencer. Considering Esme went overboard with him, they could have made it to shore, somewhere, somehow, and she might now have Spencer right where she wants him, without a memory, due to the drug she gave him. And if he did manage to keep his memory intact, well, we can bet that upon seeing Esme, he would be wishing to be trapped with nothing but a volleyball named Wilson like in the 2000 Tom Hanks film Castaway. And speaking of amnesia, could it be that somehow, some way, he has made his way to good old Nixon Falls, the town where new beginnings happen. Sure, that would be quite the hike from Paris, but stranger things have happened, and wouldn't it be a hoot if Spencer turned up there, with no memory, much like his uncle Sonny. And what would add more crazy drama to that scenario would be if Esme was there right by his side, acting as though they were a couple, taking a page out of Nina's book. Then there's always the chance that Helena, the woman with 10 million lives, has her great-grandson. If so, would she nurture him back to health or brainwash him into doing more of her dirty work? We're betting the latter. Since it was announced last year that Nicholas Alexander Chaves would be taking a temporary leave of absence from the ABC soap to film another project, it's safe to say that we'll see Spencer again one day. But the question remains, how will he return to the canvas? In General Hospital's preview for the week of February 5 to 9, it's time to say goodbye. Read on for the scoop and watch the teaser video. Last week after Spencer and Esme went overboard on the French cruise ship, an exhaustive search was made to find them. But they were both eventually presumed dead and their bodies swept out into the ocean. Trina told Joss the news in tears and Joss called Cameron to give him the news. Laura, meanwhile, was crushed that all her family seemed to be slipping away when suddenly Nicholas returned with Ace and showed up on his mother's doorstep. This week, Spencer's family gathers to mourn Spencer. Alexis doesn't know how they can even begin to say goodbye to him. Anna and Jordan lured the man selling the stolen WSB guns into a trap and hoped to get information on who he had sold them to. Suddenly, their operation was busted by the FBI and Anna was stunned to see John Jagger Cates was the lead agent. Coming up, Anna asks Jagger to bring her and Jordan in on the case as they can help him. After being shot at on his private island, Sonny informs Dante that someone almost took him out. Again, Dante states, We question. Everyone is guilty until proven otherwise. The screen flashes to Cyrus, Dex, Ava, and Nina. Read the General Hospital spoilers to find out who seeks Martin's legal help and who Cody helps out. 